Well, Science City is growing younger. New areas will help infants to seven-year-old children learn to play. I got a sneak peek of the early learning expansion areas from Union Station COO Jerry Baber. Let's take a look at what makes this a unique experience here in Kansas City. We're going to open on March 14th for over two years with Boston's Children's Museum. You know, they're the preeminent experts in early learning for kids and how they learn through informal education at places like science centers. So this is called All Aboard. This is more of that four to seven year old demographic where they're going to learn to play. We've got all kinds of trains. Kids love trains. Yeah. Adults love trains. Grandparents love trains. So we think this area is going to be really popular. You're going to be able to build your train sets. You're going to be able to wash model trains. You're going to be able to role play that you're in a dining car. Okay, I can't wait to see what's inside because I've actually never been inside of a train car. Yeah, so this is built to be what a dining car was like when the Pullman trains were going. We've got a full kitchen in here. Mm -hmm. And look how cute this is, a little pizza. Oh yeah, the kids can take your order from the menu, go in the kitchen and come and bring you your meal. But these are representative of grain and this is an exercise that shows us how it actually makes it to our table. For sure, it's called Load It Up. And you know, <laughs> kids love to learn through play, the power of play. So this it is fun. Yeah, of course it is. This teaches kids how grain goes from the farm, it gets loaded onto trucks, the trucks take it to grain elevators, they see it go up the grain elevator, and then it gets loaded in a train car so that it could get across the country and not just grow in Kansas. So right now things are very much under construction, but it will be a place where Kansas City can let loose on artistic abilities. Yeah, Science City in its 20 years has never had an area dedicated to art, and we know kids love to express themselves through art and creativity. This whole room will be dedicated to that. We've hired educators that are gonna work on interactives solely based on art and creativity for the kids. This is gonna be the marquee, so you know, a lot of parents yell at their kids if they're going to try to paint on the walls. Well, come to Science City because you can paint on these walls. And you guys have developed this area yeah. so that small ones can actually play right here. Safely, right? So this was the marquee area that we partnered with Boston's Children's Museum, the preeminent leader in kind of how kids learn in informal learning. So this is it. If you're birth through 47 months, you can come into this room. If you're not, you're not allowed. So this area is for crawlers only. It's shoes off area. It's designed for the youngest of learners and how they can interact and safely move around. Um, even within zero to three, we have something just for crawlers. And this also seems like a place that kids can really discover what life's all about. If they're inside of a house, you get a chance to play pretend. Yeah, welcome to pretend play. Kids watch adults. They want to act like adults and mimic what they're seeing as they're developing. Well, they can do that here. They can act like they run the household and they are doing little household chores or mowing the yard or acting like they drive a car. What do we have going on here? This is a cave. So they can go <laughs> in and act like they're outside and they're wow. exploring. There's some stars on the up, uh, roof of this thing. Yeah. So they can just act like they're being, you know, an explorer. Well, Science City's early learning expansion areas open up on March 14th and it's designed for infants through kids up to age seven. Find out more information by calling 816-460-2020 or go online to unionstation.org slash science city. And there's also a mini jungle gym for kids who are further along in their development so they can be the next round of Ninja Warriors.